now say everything's kind of moved out? It's out. Uh, we can enjoy the rest of the evening. Uh, as fortunately, some folks will be spending the evening cleaning up uh, from wind damage. Uh, some folks are without power, as we've been mentioning, and then there's also some flooding across the region. How quickly things change downtown. The sky's even starting to clear out now. Uh, we'll see some sunshine. You're going to get to enjoy a beautiful sunset. Dew points have gone from the upper to mid to upper 70s now to the upper 60s, and that's the trend. It will be dropping as that cool front makes its way through. Rain has now stopped in places like Walworth, Racine and Kenosha County. Still a few sprinkles in Racine, but compared to what it was for about 60 to 90 minutes with just like a waterfall on top of these counties, uh, things are greatly improved. Still some light rain in downtown and in the North Shore uh, here in Milwaukee and all the way up towards Mequon, Port Washington. Still some light rain in Sheboygan. Sheboygan to Howard's Grove was the only area that was uh, severe in our northern counties. They had some uh, large hail, but they also picked up about an inch and a half of rain on top of yesterday morning's five to seven inches of rain in this area. So they don't need any more. They're done. Rest of us picked up about a half inch of rain, still raining in some locations. And then from the south side of Milwaukee to Kenosha and Racine over towards Lake Geneva, three to five inches. And we're getting some isolated reports of near six inches of rain in parts of Racine and Kenosha counties. This line developed back into Iowa around noon. They had 100 mile per hour winds, widespread wind damage, and we just watched it move across northern Illinois. And then it started to drift into southeastern Wisconsin right along the state line there. And this is what it looked like. That storm system produced a, a tornado around Rockford. That was around 2.30. That storm then drifted into Walworth County where you had tornado warnings. Also, we're seeing in Kenosha County. And then look at this heavy rain just sitting over them for a long period of time. But as I mentioned, the rain is now moving out. The dew points are dropping, as I mentioned, from the mid to upper 70s into the upper 60s. Look at the 40s and 50s to the north. That will be here by 10 o'clock in the next couple of days. Very refreshing before more humidity returns by late week and steamy once again for the weekend. So believe it or not, open the windows tonight. Upper 50s to lower 60s. Very comfy. Tomorrow is gorgeous with sunshine, low humidity and a high of 81. And we get into this nice stretch of weather Wednesday and Thursday with low humidity and comfortable temperatures and then more humidity, rain and mid 80s for the weekend. The severe weather threat is done for the rest of the week.